Hello guys and welcome, it is the SRB2 dude here today bringing you yet another Splatoon 2 video and I had just finished watching the direct, didn't watch it live but I watched it pretty much half an hour after it had aired and I got to say I am ecstatic for what is to come to Splatoon. First of all, can we just get this out the way? The Splatoon characters are coming to Smash Bros on the Switch. Super Smash Bros on Switch has been announced. At this point in time, the only thing we know about this is that Splatoon characters are coming to Smash Bros, which is actually insane. And just to know that there is a new Smash Bros game that's coming onto the Switch, also very insane. I am sure that a lot of you people that are Smash fans and pretty much the entirety of the Smash community are going to be really excited about this. But let's actually talk about stuff that is coming into Splatoon 2. So in the Nintendo Direct, version 3.0 is a thing and it is coming in late April with three new maps, two of which are actually returning maps from the original Splatoon game, Camp Triggerfish and Piranha Pit. I cannot wait to see these maps coming back in because Piranha Pit was actually one of my favorite maps and I know for sure that a bunch of people are going to love that Camp Triggerfish of all maps is actually returning back. We also have another map also known as Wahoo World. It's basically a map that is based in a theme park which is kind of funny because in Overwatch you have Blizzard World and now in Splatoon you have Wahoo World which is like, you know, both theme parks but, you know, I play a little bit of Overwatch in my time. But anyways, with the two returning maps, they look sick. I can't really say too much right now since they haven't exactly changed too much of the maps besides add some ink rails and such like that. But all I can really say about the maps is that I am excited to see them. There's also going to be 100 new pieces of gear coming into Splatoon 2. Great, I mean, new, new gear to wear and stuff. You be more fashionable and all that stuff and, you know, that's great. And also something that's really exciting for ranked mode is that there is going to be a ranked X, which is, I mean, I didn't think this was going to be possible. I thought it was just going to end at S+, plus, or maybe like if there was going to be a higher rank, maybe actually reintroducing uh, S plus 99 or S plus 100 even, but rank X. They really didn't show too much about it, but there's a new rank coming into Splatoon 2. And of course, your boy is going to be all over that rank. Now, that is pretty much everything to do with online things with Splatoon 2. Uh, the next thing I would like to talk about is the new DLC that is coming into this game. Now, this is paid DLC, and it's basically called the Splatoon 2 Octo Expansion. Basically, it's a new Octoling single player mode where there's various challenges and new single player levels except you are now playing as an Octoling. Now, the coolest thing about this is that a lot of people wanted this. A lot of people wanted playable Octolings to be online. And I figure once you have completed all the challenges to do with the Octoling single player, you'll be able to play as an Octoling, be able to customize your Octoling, and do it all online. I can't tell you enough how many people actually wanted something like this. A lot of people thought that this would have been a thing that would happen in like Splatoon 3 or something, or Splatoon 4, whichever, like the next game after Splatoon 2, but it is honestly really cool to see that they're actually implementing this now, and this they said that this is going to be something that's going to come into summer. So June, July, August, whichever, we don't know yet. But I figured that we'll probably get a Splatoon 2 Direct around that time or some sort of video to explain the Octo Expansion even further. But other than that, this was a great Direct. I'm just saying, just the last part of it, like just the last seven minutes of it. I mean, Crash was cool. I'm not going to lie. Crash was amazing. I was just like, yes, yeah, sick. Crash is actually going to come to the Nintendo Switch. But basically the last seven minutes of the Direct was probably the best part. So I personally can't wait for all this content to come into Splatoon 2. And yeah, I'm really excited. We've got to wait till April, some new stuff coming in then, and then whatever comes out next, I don't know. Who knows? So anyway, gonna cut this video off here. I actually have to go on a plane now because I'm actually going to be playing in Beacon 2018, uh, Splatoon Land in New York, uh, Long Island. Uh, it's gonna be a pretty big land, so gonna go play well and try and do my best. And yeah, that's pretty much all I gotta say for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Gonna quickly edit it. If you enjoyed this video, please like, favorite, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Follow me on Twitter and Twitch, both in the description below. Do it for both of you feeling generous. And as always, guys, this has been that SRB2 dude, and I shall see you guys in a future video.